Hello, welcome to Monoprice Test Lab. My name is Curtis and today we're going to unbox and assemble your new Monoprice MP10. We will also review the features of the printer as well. First, remove the printer carefully from the surrounding box and the packaging foam. Within the foam, you can find a cardboard box containing the accessories and parts necessary to assemble the printer. The accessories included with this printer are as follows. One filament rack, one plastic scraper spatula, one USB cable, one memory card, four hex wrenches, a 2mm, 2.5mm, 3mm, and 4mm, five M520 screws, 13 M46 screws, one 8mm open-ended wrench, one power cord, and lastly, one user's manual. Please be sure to review the manual thoroughly before assembly. Now that you've reviewed the assembly guide, let's put together your MP10 or MP10 Mini. First, use the 2.5mm hex wrench to attach the vertical Z-axis gantry to the base with four of the M520 screws. Be sure to remove the Z-axis screw rod from the base unit using the 2.5mm hex wrench. Insert the screw rod in the hole at the top left of the gantry. You may need to loosen the grub screw found in the coupler to insert it properly. Be sure to tighten the screw back down once the rod is inserted securely. Now take the LCD touchscreen module and plug the pin connector into the back of it. Then using the 2.5mm hex wrench and two M46 screws to attach the LCD screen to the front portion of the printer. At this point, you'll attach the filament spool holder to the back of the printer using the 2.5mm hex wrench and two M46 screws. Connect the power cables to their ports located on the base. Connect the power cable for the Z-axis motor and add the Z-rod cap and tighten down its screws. The printer is now fully assembled. You can power on the printer and start your first print using the included test file. While you do this, let's cover some of the printer's features. The Monoprice MP10 and MP10 Mini both have assisted auto leveling feature that will allow you to get an accurate Z-offset quickly and easily. The build surface is 300 by 300 millimeters, heated, removable, and flexible for easy removal of your finished print. An auto resume function will allow you to continue your print if you lose power and the filament sensor will pause your print if you run out of filament. The dual Y axis gantry ensures the base is stable to minimize wobble. This results in cleaner prints and prevents the need for constant leveling. Lastly, the extruder carriage is magnetic which allows for quick and easy access for cleaning or maintenance. This also means you have easy access to upgrade fans, nozzles, or the whole system itself. We hope you enjoy your new MP10 or MP10 Mini. Thank you for joining us in the Monoprice Test Lab. We'll see you next time.